What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Ratchet and Clank Going Commando and today we're going to be continuing our adventure on planet Uzla, the planet we just landed on in the last episode. We're still going on without Clank and I rather miss him. He's our buddy that helps us get around so much but it looks like we do have a little uh, shop here which will be our first time activating the vendor in this game. And what do they have for us right now? It looks like they have two weapons available for us, both we cannot afford but the chopper and the blitz gun. Okay, cool. Definitely get the chopper as soon as possible. We are only about 250 bolts until then. But I did want to say thank you guys so much for your support on the first episode because, you know, your support is really appreciated. I've been trying, you know, really hard to get the channel bigger and growing, and you guys really are a great addition to that endeavor. Hold R1 and press square. Hmm. I'm used to holding R2 and L2 to throw the wrench. I'm pretty sure that's how it was previously, so that's sort of weird. But these guys are creepy looking. Let's take these guys out so we don't have to look at their ugly mugs anymore. And they're tough too, they actually take quite a few shots to take out. Okay then, hopefully this game isn't too easy, isn't too hard, it's right in that middle level so that I can play without it being too much of a hassle. Ratchet and Clank 1 really got hard towards the end, and it really, in some senses, Ratchet and Clank 1 could be a bit unfair. And look at these golden bugs. Mm, these are interesting. Okay then, hey, that guy's drowning, oh no! Oh no, are you okay? I guess, I guess it's too late for him. Were we supposed to save him? Can we actually save him? That'd be interesting. Hmm, where are we off to? This way? Ooh, oh no, I found a goop. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, wow, that was close. I think if I fell in there one more time, I would have been down for the count. Oh man, take these guys out too. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and this is like I was saying in the last episode, there's a good variety of enemies, but let's pull out our gravity bomb since we've yet to use that. Ooh. I like that a lot. I thought this was gonna be a grenade thrower when I heard gravity bomb. Maybe, you know, a good bit of sense that it would be some type of, well, it sort of is a grenade thrower. Has increased. Defeat more enemies to increase it further. Okay. So it looks like, yeah, our nanotech increased and we got even more hit points. And I hear somebody calling for our help. That guy died as well. So I'm guessing there might be some type of like, uh, skill point involved in saving these guys, maybe, but <laughs> I mean, my the skill points definitely aren't what I'm focused on, so it's not that big of a deal to me. But I was saying with this weapon, you know, a lot of Ratchet and Clank games have like a glove that throws the bomb, so it's interesting to see it in a gun instead of a glove. So that's pretty cool. And oh man, what's happening over here? More enemies, let's just switch. I do like the lands better overall as a weapon. I definitely want to get it leveled up as fast as possible and hopefully the upgrades to the weapons are really good as well. Cause that'd be cool, of course. I right, take you out too, buddy. <laughs> Nobody can stop us. Oh man, so where are we off to now? This way? We, we are still chasing down that goon who, oh gosh, no, <laughs> who um caught that blue fuzzball in the last episode, the first episode. So, you know, we're still trying to find him. To messages. <laughs> Will do. Okay then, uh, let's get it. Oh, nice, if we uh, break the lantern there, we sort of get some bolts too. That's sort of something you gotta remember is like, break everything you see to get as many bolts as possible. We do actually have enough to get that cutter weapon. So that's definitely something we'll do soon. No man, don't beat me up too bad. We have three hit points left. We have five in total now, so that's cool. And hopefully there's not that big of an issue with, uh, you know, getting all the levels up and getting all the bolts we need. Like I said, Ratchet and Clank 1 sort of had that issue where everything sort of felt expensive, especially the Rhino. The Rhino was just sort of a pain in the butt to the point where, in my opinion, it wasn't even fun to get the Rhino. L2 or R2 while running sideways or backwards. All right, then we can straight flake this. And this is basically a boss. I mean, it has a health bar, so I guess it constitutes as one, which is really cool and really interesting. All right, buddy, you wanna go down? Cause you're going down, we're gonna pull out our gravity bomb. Oh, and that's another really good thing about this one, is that when you pull out your weapon slot, the game pauses, and that's just perfect. Okay then, this does some good damage, but of course the fire rate is quite low. And oh no, my battery is low, that's so horrible. Okay, there we go. Definitely wanna just focus on the Lancers so we can get that level up, but I just sort of wanna taste test the other weapons as well. All right, one gravity bomb ammo, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alrighty, Mr. Snails over there, you're about to go down, ready? Ah, and you do. <laughs> and what is that floating over there? Okay, looks like we got something to collect here soon. Let's first break the lanterns because we can do some damage to the community. <laughs> there we go, take that, formal government. Continue point, okay. Some type of checkpoint, something's about to happen, but I gotta get the bolts first. And what is this? 
Hooray! It's a what's it called? You got the dynamo. The dynamo activates machinery. Press circle to use the dynamo to zap that activator. So in Ratchet and Clank 1, there were a lot of sort of annoying puzzles with this, but this just seems to be press and go. There's no puzzles with it, which is sort of a relief because the puzzles really could be a tedious mess in Ratchet 1. I mean, I figure maybe they just make the puzzles easier or make it more Jack style. I know in Jack 1 and or just the whole Jack and Axter series, they really had a good mojo going on where they would um, break up the gameplay with occasional mini games. And that was always so cool. And I feel like that is better than puzzles, at least in my opinion. It was a lot of quick time stuff, you know, pressing X, circle, square, and triangle at a certain amount of time. You know, we got that nice elevator music. <laughs> Alrighty, then let's go up here. So we actually have to pull it up in our weapon thing. Luckily, it does have that double trap triangle, not double trap, double tap triangle thing so that we can quickly change weapons. I think we gotta, yeah, double tap, there we go. All right, so get us up there, buddy. And where are we off to? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was a little difficult, oh gosh. Hmm, I don't think I did that quite right. Oh, okay, no, <laughs> how do I get up there? There we go. I didn't notice that you actually don't have to be really close to those to activate them. I thought you had to be like right next to them. But this this weapon's almost completely filled up, so I'm gonna use it to its fullest potential here. And this bam it all over the place and more dynamo stuff, okay. Is it dynamo or dynamo? <laughs> I'm gonna get it confused this entire let's play. Don't worry guys. I'll be able to flub that up for you guys. Okay, and more of these guys. Can we attack enemies with dynamo? No, we cannot. Okay. That's all right. The dynamo, does it have a level up? I'm gonna assume Nox has a white bar there. Okay, I was gonna say, that'd be rather weird if it did. All right, taking you all out. Ugh. <laughs> so, like like I said in the last episode, like, what was your favorite Ratchet and Clank game? Well, I, I said that a lot of people like Ratchet 3, but I don't know, so far this is really cool, and it is so far topping Ratchet 1. I mean, I really, really liked Into the Nexus, and I really, really liked, uh, what was it? <sighs> the, the last one. A crack in time. But when it comes to PlayStation 2 platformers, which one out of that, like which series is your favorite? They have a lot of good classics like Tide the Tasmanian Tiger, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, and Sly Cooper. Mine, of course, has to be Jack and Daxter. I blab about that game way too much. But I don't know, there's tons of PlayStation classics, and I wanna eventually cover them all on the channel, and hopefully we'll be seeing more of them in 2015. And more Dynamo stuff. Feels like they're trying to replace it with the, uh, the, the hook glove, which, but it doesn't it doesn't do the same thing. It's well, I mean, it's not a hook glove. Let's say it was a hook shot, but still, you cannot replace the hook shot. <laughs> now let's take out every box that we find. We got to take out each and every one of them. And where are we going here? Are we going up here, down there? It looks like this is actually a dead end. Actually, this is a little area for the grav boots, which we do not seem to have. You'd think that Ratchet would keep them, seeing how that was such a pain to get them in our original adventure, but <laughs> apparently he's that forgetful. Oh well, maybe we can come back at some point with the grav boots whenever we get them, and whoa, platforming, go quick. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> I like this, this is cool. There we go, and there seems to be a megacorp area. Are you there? Copy, Mr. Fizzwidget. Listen. I have some new inflammation on our experiment's wherewithal. The thief was indemnified at Megacorp's Maktar Resort. Also, the thugs have towed a moon-sized jamming array into Maktar Resort orbit. Should I take it out? A formulas. It's disconfrapulating our annual Galactic Gladiators broadcast. See for yourself. Ask yourself, are you man enough, hero enough, insane enough to step into the ring with two of the fiercest warriors in the galaxy? No. If you answered yes, you're a big, fat liar. But that's okay, because Megacorp is bringing galactic gladiators into your home for a special Mega View event. First, it's survival of the fittest in our bio competition. Be there as Chainblade, Chainblade, unleashes his fury on our gladiator guest contestants. Chainblade has gone undefeated in 500 straight matches. But if the bio division doesn't do it for you, our robotics division will. Chase the adrenaline as contestants face off against our four-armed bandit, the B2 Brawler, Brawler, Brawler. 
No living creature is a match for this machine. Watch six tons of carbonox alloy hunt for its prey. There's no consolation prize, because this bad boy's programmed to show no mercy. So, what are you waiting for? Call now to bring Chainblade and the P2 Brawler into your living room. But put away the fine china. <laughs> the Galactic Gladiators, only on Mega View. Call your provider now. Chain blade, huh? I've got the coordinates. Ratchet out. Okay, then, it looks like we're going to go catch a pay-per-view event live in action, so live that we don't even get seats, we get to battle them ourselves. That'll be fun. <laughs> I always love the championship or the arena-style stuff in this game, or the series in general. It's really, really cool. But I, just that dude, with his unable to actually make real words, it's always so silly, but so interesting at the same time. Alright, then, let's go back to our ship! And then where are we off now? To view missions still available, press select or R3. Alrighty then, let's actually do that really quick. Uh, view missions right now. So explore the swamp ruins. Well, we didn't complete that. There are ruins of previous inhabitants left in the swamp. It might be worthwhile to explore them in case anything is still working there. Uh, maybe that's like somewhere else that we've yet to able to access. Oh. Maybe we can go down this way. All right, then let's keep on adventuring this level then. If there's more to it than most definitely because I'm liking this level a lot. Of course, when we get back, maybe we should get the cutter now. Ah, oh, it's too late now. We're already way too far into it. Oh gosh. Oh, yeah, there's definitely more here. All right, awesome. It gives us some more of an opportunity to charge up this Lancer though. That's good. Alrighty, awesome. And oh no, give me those bolts. Yeah, <laughs> you, those bolts aren't sinking in the water here. I really like that about the game. It's similar to uh, Spyro. And that's Spyro, Spyro's another game I wanna cover on the channel. Of course, I've done a live stream of Spyro 1, but I definitely wanna go back and do the other Spyro games. I don't know, like, all the old PlayStation games are all my favorite. Okay, then. And are we riding on those guys? Oh, you bet, oh, they, they, they have some, some weird faces. Faces only a mother could love. <laughs> That's okay though, that's okay. They're helping us out. They're like water Yoshis. Thanks, water Yoshi. <laughs> okay, let's get these boxes. Getting our health back, that's good. Let's run over here. So these are the ruins of an old civilization. I wonder what civilization was here. Was it the Lombaxes? Oh wait, I don't think we actually figured out that he's a Lombax yet. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell anybody. Spoilers. <laughs> okay then. Um, and these, you know, one thing I noticed is the gold. The bolts are gold this time around. They were sort of silver before, and it's weird. They, they it bounces around a lot, and some of it it's uh, gold, and some of it's silver. And this is this a Crash Bandicoot reference? That has to be a Crash Bandicoot reference. That is like straight out of Crash Bandicoot. Can you shoot it? Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh. What, what, what is happening with the controls here? Oh, I move with the, that's odd. <laughs> Have some breakfast, it's bullets. And more water Yoshis, sure. But yeah, that's weird. I mean, it's really cool because Insomniac and Naughty Dog really did have that close relationship. It was sort of like a really interesting mix of developers there. And where are we off to here? Whoa, whoa, I'm gonna hop on you, water Yoshi, thank you. And see what's up here. <laughs> I don't even need the piranha plant. That's Mario though. <laughs> it's all in the same, right? There we go. And now we can take that guy back. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Do we have to wait for him to pop back up? Was this a horrible idea? Oh, there he is. Take me away. What are you? <laughs> you look so like, like just unopinionated about what's going on here. All right, let's take this guy. Think over here. All right, this is pretty interesting. We're just riding these guys all around. Please don't just decide to take a dive into the water because that wouldn't be good for me. Whoa, okay, there we go. Then you, you're out of here. Excellent. And what is this guy doing? Why is he just chilling here? I'm guessing to bring you back just in case. But now I want to go over there and take out those guys. Oh well. Hmm. Oh, okay. More of these. I really hate these crabs. I hate crabs in general. They always creep me out. But these snail crabs with spikes and four pincers? That's too many pincers. I don't know. It's just, oh, the crab enemies always freak me out. All right, our maximum nano tech upgraded, upgraded again, which is actually really cool. Even before any of our weapons, our nano tech is getting big and strong. Hopefully we get like a bunch of health for that. I'm not sure how much we're gonna end up having. I really do love the level up system though. It adds such a great dynamicness to Ratchet and Clank and everything about it. Alrighty then, let's run over here and hop on Yoshi. Oh, good old Nessie, <laughs> Nessie Yoshi. Where is he bringing us now? Whoa. 
quite the adventure. Oh man, we're gonna have to be quick. It's also sort of a half reference to Jack and Daxter because of the, uh, they, they sort of had like a plant boss. It's, it's, it's rationally different, so maybe I'm trying too hard to connect the dots. <laughs> I just love those games so much, it's hard not to try to. All right, and we have 9,000 bolts, so it will definitely be easier, or easy to get that uh, one weapon, and hopefully we'll be at halfway to getting the other one as well. Whoa, who's that? Watch out! Ah, oh, we're fine. Welcome, welcome. Uh, if everyone could take their seats, we can proceed with today's demonstration. There's no seats. First, I'll need a volunteer. Anyone? Excellent. Your name, sir? Ratchet. Hey! Oh! And there you have it. The Megacorp Tractor Beam in action. Let's give it up for our volunteer. Sir, how about taking advantage of our show special? Um, sure. We can buy it. Oh, a thousand bolts, that's pretty cheap. I'm gonna take you, it. sir, you won't be disappointed. Hooray, the tractor beam. The tractor beam moves small and medium-sized objects which have glowing orange targets like these. Press circle to move those columns so you can scale the cliff. All right, this is really cool. So with this, I can sort of get some uh, platformer puzzles done. And look at that over there. You might see there's a silver bullet. Okay. So can we pick this one up? Yeah, we can, okay. That's pretty awesome, I'm liking this. There really are some creative like gadgets in this one. Not exactly a weapon. I'd really like to see some over the top weapons. We've yet to really see anything like that, but there's some really cool gadgets. And there we go, that's our first bolt to get here. And like I said, not planning on this being 100%, but if the, you know, the support's there and I wanna keep on doing it, it's actually platinum, not silver. Oh man, whoa. <laughs> okay then, well, let's, we have to bring this way over here now, so. It would be cool if it was sort of like the Gary's Mod gun where you could just sort of pick it up and throw it somewhere. <laughs> that would make it easier, we wouldn't have to travel around everywhere, but it still works out as... Alrighty then, hop on up here. And let's break these boxes. So far, so good. And okay, where are we off to now? This is, I like this, this level's actually ending up being a lot longer than I thought it would be. Break all this, and now we got more lines around. Oh, great, and press the big button. And the bridge goes down, and ooh, there we go, we get to the end of it. Alrighty then, so in the next episode, we'll continue on to the next planet, which what is? I completely forget. So we must find out, it is the Maktar Resort at the Maktar Nebula. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family, and commenting in the comment section below, what did you think about Planet Uzla and the things we've talked about and enjoyed today? Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.